Hey tennis fans, I'm Blair Henley and welcome to the Tennis Now News Update. After two dramatic semifinal matches today, Roger Federer and Andy Murray are moving into a highly anticipated final at Wimbledon. If Roger wins, he reclaims the top spot. If Andy wins, he'll cement his place in tennis history. Until then, here's a quick rundown of what's been trending over the Wimbledon fortnight. Number one, use of the word fortnight. We can't help it if it makes us feel smart. Number two, wardrobe malfunctions. If you're okay with the world seeing your lady bits, then today's tennis dresses are perfect for you. Flowy dress construction may be in style, but over the past couple of weeks, we've gotten a much closer view of Serena's spandex than we'd like. Same goes for Sharapova and Azarenka. Take note, Nike. And speaking of malfunctioning apparel, Andy Murray's pocket troubles in his match against David Ferrer led to one of the most unfortunate headlines of the tournament. Murray was penalized two points for balls falling out of his pocket before he went into the locker room to change. Number three, Serena's serve. Serena has served 85 aces throughout the course of Wimbledon. She broke the record for most aces in a single Wimbledon match twice, once in her win over Zhi Zhang with 23 and again in her win over Azarenka with 24. Of course, in true Serena form, she claimed her serve actually fell off in her match against Azarenka. Seriously, Serena? Number four, famous people. There's been a big push in recent years to make tennis available to the masses, to expunge tennis's image as an elitist country club sport. Well, Wimbledon has officially set that effort back 50 years. We've seen tennis royalty in the form of Rod Laver, Steffi Graf, and Andre Agassi, to actual royalty in the form of Prince Charles and Will and Kate. Then there is notoriously icy Vogue editor Anna Wintour and socialite Pippa Middleton. And the list goes on. Number five, doubles. Thanks to two impressive sibling teams, doubles is getting some press for a change. Serena and Venus are into the final, and the Bryan brothers survived two five-setters to make it into the men's semis. Number six, grunting. No matter how hard you may have tried, you probably couldn't escape hearing about the grunting controversy in women's tennis. When Victoria Azarenka heard about the proposed gruntometer the WTA is planning on its dating, her exact words were, good luck with that, and we couldn't agree more. And lucky number seven, the roof. When an inanimate object gets its own Twitter account, you know it's been a source of controversy. That couldn't be more true for the roof on center court. Its Twitter page sums it up perfectly, quote, the famous Wimbledon roof, open when it's raining, closed when it's sunny, and a source of discussion whatever the weather. And that's all for today's Tennis Now News Update. Tell us what you think has been trending at Wimbledon in the comments section below or on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.